So this is our pitch for our thriller opening. It's called Unbalanced and it's about two sisters, one of them being evil, one of them being the good one. The thriller we're planning to be a supernatural thriller because it has an element of the bad twin being possessed by the devil. Um, So basically the idea is that there's two sisters and for our, for our title sequence we're going to have a bunch of baby pictures with the two sisters in it and throughout the baby pictures they're going to see the evil sister developing like a really huge shadow and stuff. So we're going to try and use like a way of modifying the pictures so that they don't all just look the same, you'll see the difference in their like personality. So one having like a weirdly formed shadow and one just being very normal. That's how our titles start with a, a montage of photos. We see we in the in the opening we see a interaction between the two sisters which shows us the first our first interaction with how they talk and how they interact with each other and to show the distance between them. So, in detail, the opening sequence starts with a montage of baby photos. At first, the character is introduced to the audience, the evil sister, and you see someone throwing photos around and throwing them into the fire, one by one. The baby photos show young children in different stages, um, one child having a constant shadow. And when you see the pictures being flicked into the fire, and then you zoom, so that starts off as being a close-up, and then you zoom out and you see it's the evil, the evil sister who's burning the pictures. And then with the burning pictures in the fire, you see the reflection of the fire in her eyes, so it kind of reflects what she's feeling on the inside as well. And then you see the other sister coming in, and she looks at her, and she's burning the baby pictures. And we're going to use costume really significantly in this because that's how we're going to indicate which one is the well, evil one and which one is the good one. So we're going to use like colours and um, conventionally which like an image that is stereotypically good or bad. So that's we're going to be a big part of it. Character profiles. The evil sister We've chosen both of them to be around 16 years old. Um, the evil sister will be played by me, and the normal sister will be played by our friend Ruth. Again, so as Sammy mentioned, they're going to have very conventional, kind of evil and good appearances. So the evil sister will have dark hair, out dark outfit, kind of a goth punk vibe, and the normal sister will have brown hair, like light colours, and It'll make it quite look very innocent and non threatening. And we also thought about having this sort of halo like light following around the normal sister and even throughout the baby pictures, so you can obviously see that there's a difference. The locations, the other location we're using for this opening is basically the front room um, of Sam's house because um, of the fireplace. And that's yeah, that's the only thing. It's very normal place. It's not going to be. It's not going to be much difference. Or the characters that we see the conventional difference. I think the thriller genre and slash supernatural is portrayed through the way the characters act and the way the characters look, rather than the place. So we said let's have it in a normal place, like a normal location, like a nice house with a fireplace, something really normal and conventional, but that element, that supernatural element is going to be shown through the, the sisters interacting and the costumes and the props, etc. So equipment, all uh, provided by the school, is going to be a camera, 
um, lighting most closely used by Sam's house, um, Final Cut Pro, Garage Fan, because of the music. Probably going to be recording myself, probably played by me. Our budget is around thirty pounds because we need we, <laughs> we need um, uh, things like hair dye and maybe a few makeup things. Mm. Not much. And we need to get the pictures printed out properly. Yeah, properly. So they have that like burn that burn and effect rather than when you burn paper. So. That's the end of our presentation of our pitch. Yeah, I'm asking questions. Again, sort of as with the last group, I feel this is quite a conventional storyline. It's quite a typical sort of, you've got two sisters and one's evil, one's sort of not, uh, in terms of sort of, you know, kind of a really different ideal story. Uh, I think that could work. I'm not, what is the premise then, given that thrillers are about this is obviously a supernatural thriller. What is the sort of premise? What's going to happen in the rest of the film? The thriller element in it is mostly the interaction between the two sisters. Because you'll see how the evil sister treats her in very small ways. And it sort of plays with her mind. Gives her kind of a psychological feel as well, but more supernatural. Uh, we were thinking that the premise would be kind of a struggle between them. Because as the evil, t well, sister gets older, you can see that it kind of, it gets worse, it, it builds up inside her, she gets worse and worse, so we're thinking that um, the plot would consist of maybe a climax point where the good twin would have to stop the bad twin from doing something. Yeah, kind of like a struggle between them. That's what will probably happen at the end of the whole film. In the thriller, we were thinking of, I mean, in the in the opening titles, we were thinking of how the interaction between them and how it ends with the twin, the bad twin saying something that hurts her, and the last image you see is the photo burning, and it fades out with the titles. I mean, I can see your, your opening sequence, and I think that can look fantastic vision on screen and everything. My issue is that you have basically told everyone in the opening sequence. This is a good, this is the really good sister, this is the really bad sister. What's left in the film to, to happen really? If, you, if thrillers are kind of more complex plot lines and things, if we already know in the opening two minutes there's a good one and there's a bad one, and the bad one's going to do bad things, and where's the hook, where's the twist, where's the enigmas to keep people interested? So I can see a really strong title sequence, I can't. Burn it. You needed to, you need, surely you're going to have to play around with that in terms of the film. Is some of the film going to be a flashback to how this situation came about? Or is it going to switch at the end and actually the one who thinks the good one is the bad one? Or something like that. I just, I just feel otherwise you've literally told your, your film in the first two minutes. What do you think? You could toy with kind of what the definition is of good and bad people. So you could have. Um, Maybe you start to, the film makes you think which one is actually good and bad throughout their actions. And it makes you, um, it just makes you question what's going to happen and who's actually the one in the wrong and which one is actually inherently evil. Yeah, and I think that's what you've got to decide. Is it supernatural and is it about evil, the notion of evil and the idea of some sort of that she's uh, inhabited by some sort of spirit or force, uh, or is it more complicated than that, and more about socialisation and, and what the reasons? But I do think it's really important that if that's your opening, that there's more to it than that, because if you, you know that's obviously what you want people to think in the opening, you can want to mess with their minds about that afterwards, don't you? So I think that you've got to kind of think that through. My in terms of the actual opening, my worry is about these photos and photoshopping and how well that's going to work and how feasible that's going to be. I think we, we're going to be able to do that fairly well because me and Ali have both used Photoshop quite a lot because of our photography. So we're going to be able to do that easily. We've got all the baby photos and scan them and then print them out properly. That's not really a big kind of issue 
at the moment. It's more, probably most biggest issue is us just recording the music. That's the biggest one that we have. Because we've got the set and the photos. The game of photos, though, is about that line between whatever you do with photos, between giving the audience a nod and making it too sort of obvious and because they've still got to look like family photos, haven't they? No one's going to have a photo in their album of some, their daughter with a pair of like bright red eyes and looking like a kind of crazy. It won't be that kind of. Oh, darling, let's just look at the photo I have. It won't be that full on, the kind of subtle changes between the two sisters. Mm -hmm. It won't be like red eyes because that, like, that's. The change is gradual as well, so like the older she gets, the, the larger the shadow gets and stuff like that. So it starts off with her as being a baby, and it's really small, and then it just gets bigger and bigger throughout yeah. the year. Okay. Uh, and I think the sound would be really crucial, again, as with this group. I think sound, as we saw with the sort of seven and title sequence and things, is, is a way to make yours something very different and play around with that really carefully. Uh, any other questions from my panel? How are you going to feel the um, scene where the fire is burning in her eyes? Like the fire in her eyes? Mm. Um, you just have like her face looking at fire and then literally close her eyes with a close up. Mm. So. Yeah, just using an extreme close up shot to get her, her eyes and you'll see the, fl the fire flickering. Like, because there's a real yeah, fire. Like, yeah, but then the the yeah, it doesn't always reflect. I think we need to do some test shots mm -hmm. that, definitely. Um, so some it's something like we would like, but it's sort of like, gorgeous. we might have it, we might not, but we'd like to have it. Yeah. Okay. Any illustrations? Good question. Any questions? Emma? I'm just thinking about the fire in the eyes thing. You should just edit it. Yeah, you can edit it. 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 We'll see if it happens. It's just sort of like an extra shot for us. And if we get it, then that's great. Um, we don't get this. It'd be cool to do a panning shot of that, actually, without getting the camera in the reflection. <coughs> when, when, you, when you can see the reflection. Uh, is there going to be any speech in the opening? Yeah, there will be, between the two sisters. Yeah, we have to write out to the panel, but we're going to have to. That's what sort of we from what you're saying about maybe changing who, like what the viewer thinks, who is good and who is bad, really, that will we'll interpret that in the dialogue, because first we'll see conventionally who is the literal bad person and who's the good one, and then over a few bits of dialogue you'll be slightly confused who maybe might be morally the bad or the good one. Yeah, it's about perception. Um, also, what's actually going to happen in the thing? Is it just going to be like pictures and then like... I don't understand what's actually going to happen in your video, mm -hmm. in your like thing. Basically, you know the title sequence when you see the titles coming up and stuff like that? That's going to be the baby pictures and stuff like that. And then with the last picture, we thought about having, when she chucks the last picture, when the last picture flickers, you see a crossfade and then with that, that picture being in the fire. So, do you know what else? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it's going to be. And then... It's the scene where she's chucking the, all of the photos in and the sister goes in. Gradually, the montage, sort of, you just see the photos, like, being put into a table or something. It gets a bit worse, you see them being ripped up or thrown in the fire, and it transitions to you seeing the sister throwing them into the fire. So it sort of gradually goes mm -hmm. into the actual, like, sister and then the other one joining and then having died. I think we get that bit, but I think my, my discussion with you was this the day before. Is the next bit we want to hear about. What we know is there's a dialogue between the two sisters. So we understand the montage and how that will work. But, but like, what's happening with the sisters? But also, how long is your montage going to be? Because it's going to get like a bit like repetitive after like the thing. And then also, you can only Photoshop certain, not even like a minute, like you can only Photoshop a certain amount of pictures as well. It, it won't be. It won't the montage be won't be a large, because like the, the opening times are around two, two minutes. And the montage part will only be about like 20 seconds. It's a very well, maybe less part. than that. We haven't got enough pictures, so it might be less than that. But if the montage is only 20 seconds, what are you going to do for the other? That's a dialogue between the two sisters. Afterwards. This is what we need to Yeah, but what, what is, what is, the, I, don't, I don't understand what's happening between, I'm, like, I understand the montage bit, but I don't understand what's happening between the two sisters. Uh, any more questions? Yeah, do you think it's like a pure thriller film? So if you went to go see it in a cinema, do you think you'd be on the edge of your seat, or scared or really confused, or the film's always keeping you guessing? Because like Miss said, there's a good one, there's a bad one. 
Is there going to be points where you're going to be sitting there scared what's going to happen next? There, there will be because we're, if we were to make the whole film, we would be planning to try and change your perception of both of the sisters and who's actually good and who's actually bad. Okay. And there's also going to be like, well, we want to leave the audience confused. We don't want them to know exactly what's going on. So maybe she looks like the bad sister, but maybe she's not the bad sister. That sort of confusion. Yes, or not. I think the main thing you need to think about is the, the, the idea of suspense and how it actually applies to the thriller genre. Because it, it is a relationship, yeah. when we have like people getting killed or someone getting stalked, rather than just a relationship between two people, it's maybe not scary or thrilling enough to be in the genre. It's a good idea, but maybe it's not going to really scare people. Okay. Just the relationship it. between the sisters. I'd say that it's not really more of like a scary sort of thing, it's more of like a psychological type thing where it's like to get the thrilling effect is like you have to keep thinking and questioning whether oh, this might be yeah. morally so right or wrong. About jump scares. If you're going to create suspense, don't you want something like to happen, like one of the sisters might get killed or something, so you might think, oh, there might have an argument, you might have a bad relationship. That's the cliche though, right? Someone kills someone else. But even in psychological thrillers. If someone gets... Well, the audience is going to be sitting there and thinking, right, what's going to happen? So you develop a relationship with one of the characters. They go, oh, they're not going to kill each other, so what's the point? Even in psychological thrillers. Like, they're not in danger, it's the relationship they between them. They don't have to kill each other, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even in like psychological thrillers, you get a sense of a horror, because like in like Shutter Island or... You think, oh, they're in danger, but it's just the two relationship. It's not even about all the killing and the like, jump scares. It's just, just, the, just any, yeah, any element of, of, of thriller. You need to create like, an element thing. of danger. It's it's yeah, danger. Okay, thank you. I think that they will. I think that's... The point is that you've got to firm those things up of what those next films will be for yourselves and in terms of thinking it. And I think you've particularly got to firm up that what else happens. You know, you sort of said there was going to be this dialogue, what, but we can't picture it, so we don't know what it's going to be. We don't know how that's going to set the seeds of, of the other tensions and things. So I think those things just need thinking through. You've got the idea, but because we can't we can't imagine it, we can't sort of see what those scary bits might be. So I think those things need firming up. But I think the title six will work, but I don't know what's going to happen after montage, really. Uh, so that needs to be work. Okay? Okay, thank you.